Welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge, where in today's episode, gods of space and time willing, we fight the next gym leader, but based on the last episode, who, who knows? Who knows? They are obviously out to get us. The Alga has been glitching us the whole game, and last episode called in terrible reinforcements. They rained their terrible power down upon us, and now, um, uh, despite... You know, I, they they killed Miles, and I'm still not over it. I'm still very upset. I'm st I, it was, uh, I mean, uh, that's all I could say. It's making me so mad. So today, we're going to try to take on Jasmine. But before we do that, we're going to do some grinding, because we're not going to lose any more Pokemon like that, because that was terrible. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. And uh, yeah, we're going to go grind down here, because maybe the grass is safer. Um, we're going we're gonna to get to know... Our, I mean, the, the morale on the team is not good. Tristan, very upset with the loss of Miles and Jacoby. Ice, I think, you know, we mentioned last time Ice and Jacoby had becoming had been becoming a little bit closer. I think maybe it was closer than I realized because Ice is seriously distraught over the loss of Jacoby, his friend with literal cannons for arms. Um, Megan, I mean, oh, it's, it's, she, I mean, she... she she's not, she hasn't been around super long. But it was uh, it was quite a blow for her as well. Very bad. Noel, you know the little prankster came out came out of the box. I think was so excited on the one hand to be like back on the team, like yay me, but then also like no, but at what cost? Uh, uh, Engberg, of course, it could very has no idea what's going on. Just like uh, just, hey hey, I'm here, cool. Uh, yeah, let's. F I don't know Engberg very much, very well. Uh, plant uh, the. The resolve has been the only the only upside, the only silver lining, if you want to call it that, is that Plant has doubled down in his resolve to become a Garchomp and has been just go, training like crazy. Present, uh, and you can tell it's paying off. Him and Megan, very tight, um, very very much big dragon energy coming here. Both crushing it, but uh, we need to go train. We need to get ready for this next gym battle, and uh, we're gonna grind. So uh, enjoy the music, and I will see you in a minute. Right, the grind is over. That grind was brought to you by uh, our mom, actually, because I was gonna stop grinding. Then Ben got on a phone call with our mom, and I was like, "He's like, can you, can you just like, uh, I, I didn't want to talk while they were talking, so I just kept going." So everyone got to level twenty-seven. So thanks, mom. Uh, not in-game mom who won't stop calling me, but real-life mom who did call Ben, and Ben did answer, unlike how I answer the phone for in-game mom, because she's so annoying. Although she does buy me things, I guess that's nice. Anyway, let's take a look at uh, some of the stuff that happened. Nothing really new on Megan here. Still just crushing it. I need to remember that inner focus in case we ever come against some flinching foes. It's such a rare thing with Megan because she just knocks everything out. We have, uh, of course, Ice. Literal cannon for an arm. Uh, nothing new. Oh, actually, sorry. Yes, we picked up Confuse Ray. I switched it with Smog. Mostly because we have Flame Body, which could burn the opponent. So, um... If we poison them, then the flame body sort of gets turned off. So this just gives us more options. So I thought that was good. Um, nothing actually new at all on Engberg. Although let me say Engberg was like ready to fight. Like just hit the ground running, grew like three levels in like under a minute. I was like, what is happening with you? Why are you so, man. Um, nothing new on Tristan. Although we got to test out the charge beam. Very handy, uh, very handy attack. Good against some like flying types there. Took out some dark hunch crows. That was nice. Uh, nothing at all new on Plant, just uh, cruising right along there. And Noelle actually picked up Toxic, which we replaced with Poison Gas. Or replaced Poison Gas with because it's just obviously way better. Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's the update on the team. I think we're just going to go ahead in and uh, try and head into this next gym area. Because last time we wanted to go to the Safari Zone, and that just proved to be a very bad idea. Now, this is typically a steel gym, so who knows what it's going to be this time. It obviously won't be a, oh, now, what? Do, can, do, I knew you'd come here. Thanks for helping the gym leader, but battle is a separate matter. Go for it. Uh, all right. Do you give me free stuff? No. Sometimes, once upon a time, that guy gave you, like, a fresh water every time you talked to him. He's like, here, this might help me a fight. <laughs> Giggle, I know how capable you are from the lighthouse. It's time you showed the side of yourself to Jasmine. Wait. 
Okay. Do I not have to fight you? I just go straight to Jasmine? Is this it? All right. Well, Megan, are you ready? Megan is very eager. Yeah, she is. All right. All right. All right. Well, then all I can say is we're probably going to Thunder Wave whatever comes out first or Dragon Rage, right? Because Dragon Rage is so good at two shots. Basically everything in the game. But I swear, if Jasmine has Dialga and or Palkia and has been the one messing with us this whole time, I, this is this could be a very, very hard fight. She's going to have... Are we vastly underleveled? She's gonna, she could have a level 30. Th mm. I'm starting to think maybe we're not strong. Mm. You know, no, 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 no. We got this. We're good. We're good. We're good. I mean, it occurs to me if she has like a level 35 Mewtwo or something, we are, we are maybe less good. But we're leading with the Thunder Waver this time. That would have helped us a lot. That would have helped us a lot against the, the Palkia. Yeah, anyway, a caution to the wind. Thanks for your help to Lighthouse, but this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine, a gym leader. I use the clang. I use the clang. Do you know about the steel type? I'm familiar with it. I have a giant metal penguin on my team. Does that count? That has steel. What you got, Jasmine? I swear, if you are the if you are the master of space and time. Polyrath! Hey, okay. Level 30. Alright, so that's strong. It's not unstoppable, though. We're going to hit it with a thunder wave. Hypnosis. Ooh, sneaky. She's going for the status moves right out of the gate. We don't like that. Um, we could... Well, let's just Dragon Rage and see how much it does, because we'll definitely get that off. And then if it, she puts us to sleep... Oh, she went for the Hypnosis. Okay. Okay, so that's not great. This would be great if we had an electric type using... Actually, Tristan's not bad here, because it... Well... The issue with Tristan is whether... No, we should be... I, I would think we'd be okay with Tristan because we have Charge Beam, which would be nice because we could use that to actually charge up. There's a chance they'll get paralyzed. And they're weak to Electric and Psychic, both of which types we have. And if she has Fighting-type attacks, then we resist. So I think Tristan's an okay shift here, right? Should be. Submission, that shouldn't do much. We should resist it. Wow! Okay, so we did resist it. You can see it said not very effective, but look how much damage it did anyway. Ugh, that was not good. Okay. Um, that was not good. Noelle also resists because of the poison typing. Noelle's only weak to ground type, so Noelle could probably come in and take a hit as well if we need to. We Man, I wish that that had not just happened on Tristan. Um, that said, we can probably, like, we're going to be faster, and I guarantee you we can kill this thing with an extra sensory, right? Like, there's no way. It's going down. I'm doing it. I believe in you, Tristan. I have faith. I think it's dead. Yeah. Dead! Now if we need to heal, we'll heal. We'll see what's next. Okay, a bronze on. Oh, she does have steel types. What do you know? These things sometimes have heat proof, so just switching to like ice might not be the obvious answer we think it is, but we will find out. Because I think that's what we're gonna do. Switch it into big ice here. Unfortunately, we can't talk to this thing. Bronze Song's a tough one. Steel Psychic, it's good typing. Um, let's go though. Come on, ice. Extra sensory? Oh, they got their own extra sensory now. And it's beefy, no doubt, no doubt. Oh, we also have faint attack. Hmm, I didn't even think about that. And we have Confuse Ray. <clears throat> I wish Megan wasn't asleep so we could paralyze it again. Uh, let's see. It's with extra sensory. We can do this. I feel like we should give it the old... Give it some sort of status to deal with first, right? Let's hit it with the Confuse Ray. So we went first, so it's possible it just hits itself right here. Hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself. Yes, excellent. Okay, now I think we can use this on ice real quick excellent so now it's still confused hit yourself in confusion excellent we'll go first so we could actually smoke screen it if we want make it even harder for this thing to hit us but let's see how faint attack does hit it with some uh, super effective damage there oh wow it did like nothing that's surprising does steel resist um okay 
I'm gonna smoke screen at once here just because it's making me nervous. Give it a little, make it snap out of confusion and got through the smoke screen. Okay, not great, not my favorite, but we, okay. We handled that one pretty well. We're gonna hit it with another confuse ray because it's taken some damage. Watch, watch Ember just like destroy it. Gosh, this thing is not missing though. Wow, okay. Oh God, okay, we're gonna heal again. Definitely a hard fight. Definitely a tough fight we're having here. You'd think the smoke screen is gonna come in at some point. Thus far it has not. Maybe we should switch to, ooh. If we switch to, what's it used? Iron defense and extra sensory. So Noelle is immune entirely to the um, extra sensory attacks. Right? Yeah. All we could really hit it with is like, Head, but uh, right, what is what else does Noel have? Oh, we can continue to smoke screen it, so we can just continue to seriously annoy it, um, which is fun. Let's let's shift. I, I want to hit it with Ember. Let's hit it with Ember. Super effective iron defense. Okay, so now I think we got it. Okay, okay. I'm overthinking it. Hit it with super effective moves, right? And a Togepi, okay, so that's her ace, is the Togepi. So, I'm not super worried about it, but I am um, not disregarding it entirely either because it is, it could have like metronome. That's sort of like a Togepi thing, which, you know, that could be anything. That could hit us for just anything. So I and we're just like weak at the moment. We just went to switch into someone with full health. Let's go. Let's go plant here. I think. Follow me. Okay, that's not much of a problem. Let's just dragon rage this thing. Okay, it's not really attacking. And that oh, it has a berry. Okay, so we're just we're two dragon rages away. I think we're good. It looks like we're faster. Ancient power, that's going to do nothing. Even if it gets the Omni boost, it's dead. Which the Palkia got it. Yeah, okay. Oh, Hyper Potion. Gosh, so many tricks up your sleeve. Not going to help because we hit for big damage. Boom. You're dead. Well done, plant. You did it. All right, team effort there. We got around. That Bronzong was scary. You're a lot better trainer than me in both skill and kindness. Yes, I'm very nice. That's right. In accordance with league rules, I confer upon you this badge. <laughs> well, like you, like, uh, like, if it weren't for the league rules, I would not give you this. You did defeat me, but like, I am not in the mood to hit. I, that's how not nice I am. If it weren't for the rules. The mineral badge. All right, we did it. Well done, team. TM23. What is that? Is that a... Uh... Iron Tail, all right, let's see. Uh, can anyone on the team at the moment learn some Iron Tail? That might be a good move. Might be good for um, our Empoleon. Iron Tail use, let's see. Oh, lots of people can learn. Tristan can learn it. Noelle can learn. That's interesting. Would Noel benefit from having Iron Tail? You're only weak to ground, and ground's not really weak to steel, so, man, base, wow, the only, Engberg was who I was thinking, can't learn it, Megan, despite having a huge tail, can't learn it, um, what odd thing, maybe plant, because plant, uh, that would give him some ice coverage, I suppose, right, ice is weak to steel, that might be a good one, that could be good, and we don't have very good attacks on plant at the moment anyway, uh, yeah, tackle, this is, Accuracy 75, though. That's the problem. Like, can we rely on... Yeah. Okay. It's... It's too risky. It's too risky. Can't has it, y'all. All right. So we got the gym badge. We've done some grinding. I think we can head back to the... Hopefully, Safari Zone. And maybe we'll try and end today with a catch of some sort. Right, that could be good. We're back at Sienwood City. We're gonna go into the Safari Zone. Hopefully, 
Uh, we're leading with magnets, so we can thunder wave whatever comes our way. Right? Route 47. This is the route where we ran into the Palkia, so we need to be very careful on this route. There's stuff over there. Looks like there's a double battle up here. Hmm, interesting. We're gonna go up. Maybe we'll do- maybe we'll go up instead of down. Cliff Cave, this is where we caught, um, our Empoleon. Okay, so who do we want to fight with? Let's go double dragon, yo. Double dragon, plant and Megan. Get ready to die. Plant is about to grow. One plus one is two, but the two of us together is much stronger. That's called synergy. We're more than the sum of our parts. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see. Doxicroak and Motham. What an interesting combination you got going over there. Uh, I'm not that concerned, though. You know why? Because we're just gonna... You know what's what's great about Double Dragon is that we can go Double Dragon Rage on your Toxic Rope. Oh! Motham used Protect. Doesn't matter. You aimed... You protected the wrong one. Because there's the... There's Dragon Rage number one, there's Dragon Rage number two! Ah! You're terrible! Oh, we destroyed you. And guess what? The same fate is coming your way. You didn't think. Oh, you tried to protect. You're like, uh, please, uh, pit, well, uh, shields up, shields up, shields up. Afraid not. Now who's more than the sum of their parts, fools? Yeah, yeah. The answer is us. Double dragon. Well done, Megan. Mm-hmm. Megan is flying through the sky with grace. I'll say she is. I'll say so graceful. So graceful is the big Megan. Mm-hmm. What's this item? A lagging tail. What does that make you go second? I think it's like good. I think it's like the, oh. Oh, another double fight? More? You want some more? Watch these guys. They're like, we have the all in Palkia. <laughs> Eat my heart's feelings for my boyfriend are as wide as deep as the ocean. All right. What do you got? What do you got, double, double trouble? Duff and Ida. A Machamp. Okay. That's pretty solid. I'll give you that. <clears throat> It's pretty solid. We're going to use Fly on the Machamp, and we're going to use also... What also we're going to do is use uh, Dragon Rage on Cherum. I think we got this one okay. Fly. That means one of us is dodging, so if they aim down... Oh, they went for the sun! Turned into... Oh, in Revenge. So they actually haven't been hit yet. So what the what the what? Oh my gosh, that was a strong attack. So I'm not going to uh, stick around for that again. We're just going to go bag. Uh, I don't, I am not in the mood to be hit by another attack like that. That was an insane crit. Helping hand. Oh, wow. That actually managed to get off a, what happened? Oh, wow. We, we missed. We missed. Okay, so... Fly again on Machamp and Dragon Rage on Cherum. Let's go. No, oh my gosh. I cannot believe they're successfully getting off partner attacks here. If this thing... Okay, my goodness. You had two helping hand boosts. Dragon Rage, dude. How about don't miss this time, Megan? I thought you were flying through the air gracefully. Gracefully missing that first one. Mother! Oh, gosh. You know this won't ever stop ringing. Hello, how are you? I bought things for you with your money. Go get them. All right, thanks, I guess. Route 48, okay, this is a new, potentially a new catch zone, right? North of the Safari Zone. Oh, gosh, this something about this grass just feels ominous. Does it not? Does it not? Could yet another, oh, we only have one super potion. We're gonna give it to plant right now. We are near the next place. All right, Route 48, here we go, here we go. This is a potential catch. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, oh no, we're leading with, no. I was gonna say I should lead with Noel because that can make like more dangerous things appear. But you know what? I'm not really necessarily in the mood for more dangerous things. Or am I? Are we, going, are we wanting to get crazy? Nah, let's just go regular. What's it gonna be? This is a potential catch. It's an Armaldo. We caught one of these last time too. What are the odds? What are the odds? Um, let's go Dragon Rage. Yeah. Mud Sport, nothing. Let's go Thunder Wave. Yeah, you've been zip zapped. 
And let's go bag. And we're going to use... And oh, what is this? Friend ball? What does this do? Makes a cop Pokemon more friendly. That's not really helpful to us. So we're only going to use that in the event that someone needs, like, friendship-based evolution. Or if we run out of other things. The Pokemon broke free! What? Come on now. That didn't even... I didn't even rock once. Look how damaged this thing is. It's paralyzed. One. Two. Three. We got it. Arbaldo. Welcome to the tea. Welcome to the box, probably. Its enormous retractable claws can cut through most anything. Its entire body is clad in sturdy plates. All right. Yeah, nickname to Armaldo. I'm in. Let's go. Woodson. Woodson the Armaldo. That's named after Joshua Woodson in the comments. Thanks for watching, Josh. Oh, no. And now, as you can see, everything has gone black. We're being attacked again by the God of Time. I'm gonna hit save real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna have to do a system reboot, I think. Yeah, unless maybe I can run into something. Would that help? Okay, maybe this will help. Maybe I can do it this way. Megan. All right, excellent. Fly this thing down. Rain dance. We know all about rain dance here. Level 28, amazing. And no, I'm gonna definitely have to, um, oops. Do a quick restart here, hold on. There we are. And we're back, all right. Into the safari zone we go. Oh, we can heal, thank goodness, wonderful. Take that up, very nice. All right, now can I go in and do the Safari Zone? Let's catch something. What's gonna be our Safari Pokemon? Baboa. Uh, hi, I've been waiting for you. What do you think? Uh, this is the brand new Safari Zone, by the way. I just had an idea. Uh, would you like to take the owner aptitude test? Uh, okay. Uh, right on, let me explain how the test works. It's very easy. All you have to do is catch one Geodude at the Safari and show it to me. They are in the gla grass closest to the entrance. It shouldn't take long before you catch one. Oh, I, I don't know if you're understanding how the randomizer works there, Baboa Band, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, that'll be 500. 30 Safari Balls, let's go. Go have fun. All right. Well, uh, I don't know if he does know how it works and there is gonna be Geodude in there, but if there is, I'm not really in the mood to catch Geodude. So let's just go uh, back here into the swamp. We want a swamp Pokemon, I guess. Um, this is so, the Safari Zone is so tricky because you'd think it's like they're, I don't know. I, norm, I don't know. It's such a big area and the whole fun is catching, but we can only catch one thing. So let's see what maybe we can catch. It's also such like random catching rules. Here we go, what's it gonna be? Something crazy, something good? It's a wheezing. Okay, I'll take that. I like wheezing. I like wheezing a lot. Safari ball, go! This is all down to luck basically though, right? One, two. Hey, look at this. Hey, wheezing. Amazing. Very fun. Top grade perfume is made using its internal poison gases by diluting them to the highest level. Well, that seems weird. That is not at all what I expected it to say. <laughs> uh, I need a name. Oh boy. We got a wheezing. Wheezing, yeah. Can it be two words? Sure. There's someone there named The Force. The Force. <laughs> the Force. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. All right. Our Weezing's name is The Force. Force is strong with this one. Uh, boy, I really hope we get to use Weezing just so I can say the name all the time. This is from The Force in the comments. Uh, welcome to the box. That's fantastic. What a great name. What a great name. All right. That's all we needed here. Is there any fun items we can get in here? Or is it all just about them catches? All just about them catches. Yeah, I think so. Not seeing any items just yet. I don't even want to know what the other things we could have caught are. I mean, I'm already pretty happy. Yeah, I'm ready to leave. See ya, bye. Certainly, please return any safari balls you may have remaining. Did you have fun? Please come again. Yeah, all right. The question is, where do we go from here? So, no. Um, what is our next, what is the next spot on our journey, it would it would look like probably 
this direction towards Blackthorn City, you'd have to think, right? Um, probably stop in Mahogany. These are the only places we haven't been yet, and we're sort of on the edge of the map. Uh, we've got... This is the Lake of Rage. Yeah, I think this is the next stop. So maybe we should fly back to Ecruteek City here. And uh, maybe we'll try for one more. Maybe we'll go for even one more Pokemon, right? We'll go this way. Route 42. Yeah, I don't think we've been over here, right? Shadow Claw. That sounds awesome. Who can learn that? That seems like a very good Noel kind of move, doesn't it? Shadow Ball. Why haven't I given that to anyone? Shadow Claw. Use oh, it's a ghost type move. So, we can give it to Noel, or Engberg, or Plant. Okay, well, let me know in the comments. Who do you think we should give it to? Noel, Engberg, or Plant? All solid options. Uh, we also have Shadow Ball, which we can give to someone as well. And Focus Punch. We have, some good, we have some good TMs we could utilize here. Now, what is Route 42? Waterfall Cave. In oh, no, what is this? What? Oh, boy. Oh, sorry, I bumped into you. Did I hurt you? Oh, please don't cry. Here, take this. Oh, thanks. Free stuff. It's called strength. When a Pokemon learns it, it can move boulders out of your way. <laughs> Enjoy a happy mountain climbing life. All right, cool. See you, dude. All right, so Route 42. Let's see what we can catch. Route 42, surf on the deep blue. All right, let's go. Let's go. Bring it on. Who wants to fight? Anything? Nothing on the water? All right, this is our Route 42 encounter. The game is the foot. Let's go. It's a larvid, tarvid, tarvid, tarvatar. Oh my. Well, well, well. What do we have here? This is very exciting, I think. Uh, let's Thunder Wave. Oh, it doesn't affect it. Rock Slide. Okay. Okay. Well, that was a bad opening bout. I'm not going to lie. Um, this thing definitely will survive a Dragon Rage, methinks. Yeah. We're going to heal back, and it starts the Sandstorm. Okay, that's how it wants to plant. That's fine. We're going to switch to a plant, I think, who gets some evasiveness in the Sandstorm. Sandstorm buddies, am I right? Let's go for the catch now. I think we're going to go Ultra Ball on the Larvitar. Yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Oh, okay, that's exciting. That's very interesting. It's born deep underground. It can't emerge until it has entirely consumed the soil around it. Wow, it just starts and... <laughs> Welcome to life. Enjoy eating dirt. All right, Ben, I need another name. Ooh. It's a Larvitar. So it becomes Tyranitar. Right? It does turn into Tyranitar. Yes, yeah, that's true. I know. Look, look at you knowing things. Huh. Huh. Okay, I like McLean. Mc oh, yeah. Great McLean. name. Where is that? Where? It's from Chris McLean there. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Who has faith that this will finally be the Nuzlocke where you can catch a cypher, so I appreciate that faith. McLean. <coughs> we'll see. I think this one should be on your team. You think McLean should come on the team? I like Tyranitar. I mean, there's no doubt, but Tyranitar is very good. That would give us uh, three pseudo legendaries on the team. <laughs> in the terms of uh, Dragonite, Garchomp, and Tyranitar. The question is, who would we ever replace from the team? Um, we have Empoleon, Magmortar, Tristan the Kadabra, and Noel the Stunky. Like, Noel looks like the one who would come off. The only, the only thing about Larvitar is that every time you send it into battle, it whips up a sandstorm, which... Yeah, it, well, it does chip damage to everything that isn't ground, rock, or steel. Oh, so including your guys. Including your team, yeah. So, on the other hand, Plant is ground type, and his ability activates in the sand. So, he becomes, like, more evasive. So, there's that. Okay. And actually, Engberg is part steel, so Engberg would be okay as well. So, three out of... Three out of six would um, dodge the sand. Okay. So, there's that. Not there's, bad. Not bad. You know... We did rain dance. Anyway, maybe maybe we're working towards sandstorm. Sand dance is how you call it. Yeah, sand dance. Sand dance, Steve. Okay, guys, well, let me know. I think this is where we're going to end it for the day, but we did just get to Larvitar. So we had the opportunity to have Garchomp, Dragonite, and Tyranitar all on the same team, along with Empoleon, Magmatar, and possibly uh, Alakazam or uh, Skuntank. Um, so let me know. 
should I mean I know I know you guys love Noel. Um and Noel is always like, hey, you need someone, I'm here. And she's so good, but also Tyranitar. Um Let me know, let me know your thoughts. Should we bring on uh McLean, the Larvitar, onto the team? And if so, who should we who should we bench? Big decision coming up because they're and take into consideration the sandstorm, so it would hit half our team for chip damage. Is that rain? That was like that. I don't know if you guys could hear that. The rain just came and went. It went from about zero to oh, it's back. It's like someone spraying a hose. Wow. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much as always for watching today's video. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. Um, let's try. Can we get can we get two thousand likes on this video? I think we can. I think you guys can do it. And don't forget, we're also still running our Patreon special offer, where if uh, you sign up at our ten dollars tier, you will get a uh, amazing uh, illustra print of uh, Megan Barada's illustration of the epic rain dance team from the Leaf Green season, featuring the mighty Sporkles and Dracus and Goop. I'm looking at it right now; it's so good. It even has the sensor bar on Happy. So if you're interested in that, you can head over to Patreon.com/slash/SuperCarlinGaming. Um, otherwise. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Who does spork?